it's payday. But wait, my check paycheck is smaller than his because I'm a woman? The purpose of the speech I'm about to deliver is to persuade individuals to fight for women's equality in America, specifically in paycheck equality, because if equality is not acquired, our economy will plummet. As a female, I am credible in this topic of equality for women because I have experienced the discrimination women face, but on a smaller scale from what women in the professional workforce experience. This is necessary because all people, despite race, religion, gender, or ethnicity, deserve equality. And in order to achieve satisfaction, it is necessary to create wage transparency because if the GDP or gross domestic product of America will flourish, and action is necessary because the gender gap must be closed or our economy will plummet. Women across the world are treated poorly and, and, and as if they are inferior to men just because of their gender. For example, a female neurosurgeon is estimated to collect a salary of $524,400 a year, while a male with the same exact qualifications will collect nearly $70,000 more than the female. This statistic is mentioned in the article entitled Gender Pay Equality in Academic Neurosurgery at United States Public Universities. As a female, it is clear that you will not receive praise or salary that you deserve. But gender inequality creates societal issues also. For instance, when not receiving the compensation you deserve for your job, it is easy to quit and become a stay-at-home mom. While this may not seem like an issue, 50.5% of the U.S. population is female. This is a scary statistic, and it is found in an article written by Carrie and Hackett in the Pew Research Center. If half of the workers decide it is not worth the inequality, we will reduce production of goods and services and other necessities by slightly over 50%. So our economy will crash. However, in order to end gender discrimination, it is necessary to create wage transparency. With wage transparency, female individuals are able to clearly see if an equally qualified male candidates are receiving greater wages than they are. Also, if employers are aware of wage transparency, they will be less likely to shortchange individuals despite their gender. This solution is offered by articles from Nine Strategies for Narrowing the Gender Pay Gap and Should You Keep Your Salary a Secret? And also an article by Pay Transparency Can Close the Gender Gap, if done correctly. A similar solution was implemented in Denmark in 2006 when 70%, this study saw a 70% closure in the gender gap. While some may say wage transparency creates a lack of motivation in the workforce, I disagree. If an individual with the same qualifications is receiving a higher paycheck than you, you will in turn be upping your game and producing much more work than before in order to gain a higher paycheck. Moving on to the effects if my solution is not used. If wage transparency is not implemented, the gender gap will only continue to increase, thus robbing women of the Equality Act and a rapid decline in the current advancements of the world, and our economy will plummet quickly. However, with my solution in place, the gender gap will steadily close, allowing for greater increases in the economy amongst other great benefits. For example, it is estimated that closing the gender gap through wage transparency will will result in an increase in GDP by nearly 35%. The purpose of this speech is to persuade individuals to fight for women's rights across the globe. Um, women of the United States soccer team have recently um, implemented the same uh, experiences and they fought for gender equality in their paychecks and won the lawsuit. Um, it is necessary to close the gender gap through wage transparency because if not, our nation will quickly plummet. But if you do, our GDP will increase, thus allowing us to achieve a greater lifestyle nationwide. Women should not be shortchanged just because of their gender.
Okay, here's my audience. Does it show y'all? Mm -hmm. 